пожаловать на шоу The Wave of Things. Я сегодня здесь с Алексеем, Петер, петербургский музыкант. Hello, we should switch to English because my Russian is not so good anymore. We have to train. Everything is okay. Я все понял. Understand everything. Хорошо, хорошо. You are actually the first person from Russia on my show. Really? Yeah. Uh, and it fits exactly nice. because in the last episode I had a talk with my Ukrainian friends about uh, Ruski Doom. It fits very much to the topic of the show right now. So Alex, you told me a little bit about yourself, but maybe it's better if you tell yourself what you told me about when you were in the army. My army uh, was about uh, 12, 2018 to Uh, 2019, one year. My army was at uh, Nizhny Tagil, Nizhny Tagil city. It's uh, uh, behind Ural Mountains, near Ural Mountains. In this period, I recorded all my th- uh, my songs. Yeah, uh, all my songs that uh, in my album that uh, comes. Why, <laughs> why I recorded all the songs uh, in the army? They were so dark atmosphere, <laughs> I think, because I was uh, not near with my uh, house, not near with my uh, friends, my uh, people, and I think uh, that uh, this mood transferred to my to my songs, to my songs. How can we imagine this this place where you've been? Was it the forest? Or? There are uh, a lot of forests uh, among. Uh, among and uh, there were a lot of dark skies <laughs> and uh, it's uh, it's really uh, some depressions some some depression <laughs> yeah your sound is actually very sad and you also wrote on your on your facebook let's be sad together so this is your motto yeah. <laughs> the motto of your music no? i found you through one song on youtube through my Carabie, uh, the the hold of the ship. Mm, yeah. And actually, this has a yes. lot of views on YouTube, like eight hundred thousand or nine hundred thousand views. So it's it's huge. It's very big. And I saw it's not you who uploaded it, but it was Christoph Utbold. I knew them only on YouTube after I see my song uh, on uh, him. Uh, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. How did Christoph find your song? Oh, I don't know. It's a real strange story because uh, I recorded uh, the Trima Carable about uh, 2019 and uh, downloaded uh, to the contact uh, so, uh, our Russian uh, social network. I don't know how this happened, uh, how did this happen, but uh, after maybe a year uh, when I recorded this song, uh, I see uh, that uh, uh, it became a really popular song. So uh, many people uh, love this song, uh, hear the song and uh, write to me uh like uh, hey man did you uh, is it is it you you uh, did you uh, record this song uh, what <laughs> what uh, I, i was really surprised really surprised uh, it's it was i was shocked maybe i was shocked really yeah this was really i mean eight hundred thousand views is uh, is amazing no? this, this is not not many big bands can reach this sometimes And it's not even a video, yeah. it's just a cover photo, no? It's just a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just cover. But this is a similar phenomenon, what we know already from Marjat Tama, with, with the album Etage. It was also a similar story, no? That they had like one or two million views, and now I think like 10 million views already. Mm. Do you know who listens to your music? Are those people from Russia or are those people from, from the West? Uh, not only from Russia, a lot of people from Mexico, a lot of people from uh, USA, some from Great Britain, uh, Brazil, 
Poland, Ukraine. I can say maybe from uh, Europe, uh, East Europe. Uh, some days ago, <laughs> uh, uh, one people from Australia write to me <laughs> uh, and uh, then <laughs> and donated four dollars. <laughs> nice. Triume Karable. What what is the song about? For those that don't understand Russian. Oh, the song about. Uh, about Russian depression, <laughs> Russian depression. Uh, into words um, but I write the song while I'm walking around my city around my town and in Russia there are uh, there are a lot of uh, houses and there are a lot of flats and these flats I associate with uh, little rooms little rooms when where people spend much uh, a lot of time in their lives of their lives and i associated these people and these rooms uh, with uh, ships hole uh, ships holes and here we are exactly at this ruski doom atmosphere no? the ruski doom mood with those houses the socialist blocks Maybe, maybe this one uh, is a part of uh, Ruski Doom, maybe. Mm -hmm. maybe. You are still quite young. No, you work just at the military. How old are you, if I may ask? I'm 27. 27, 27. okay. So uh, did you make music before already? Yeah, uh, I have one project. Uh, I started to play guitar when I was uh, 15. Or maybe the, uh, maybe fourteen. In two thousand twelve, I made my first band called Seventh Second. We played uh, new metal and alternative metal. We played uh, about five years, five years. Um, but after five years, our band uh, disappeared. Uh, it happens. <laughs> Uh, so after it, I and uh, I understand that uh, I live for more depression, more uh, more sad music, that uh, alternative new <laughs> or new metal. How did you discover post punk? Before it, I listened to Kino a lot of uh -huh, yeah. a lot, and I like the sound uh, how how it sounds. After it, I hear Chernikovsky Harda. And Lebanon Hanover. Lebanon Hanover, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This fits exactly your depressive mood. Good. Uh, you have a second song also, De Presti, which means uh, Forgive Me. This song is uh, different from the other one. It's more punkish. Yeah. But in the end, I think also you have a bit of black metal tremolo. <laughs> it was a very yeah, interesting uh... combination. I think in, the, uh, in this track uh, there is some mood from uh, one girl band, <laughs> uh, maybe if uh, I can say it uh, like Sil Sylvain. Uh, do, do you know Sylvain? Uh, no, I, I don't think. Sylvain is uh, a band uh, where a girl uh, singing and it's like a post black metal. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, of genre and and when I uh, after uh, after some time when I uh, hear this album, I think uh, I can uh, use some uh, things in my song too. Mm -hmm. Some a, <laughs> black proposed black things. <laughs> it's it's a very interesting combination. We we also tried this with my yeah. band Deus Faust. We tried some black metal drums in our. Dark wave songs. Mm. Okay, now where the question comes up, what are your inspirations musically? I have a lot of bands that I like. Uh, maybe they are not uh, post punk. Uh, all. <laughs> um, also, I like uh, traditional doom metal. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, for, for example, uh, funeral doom metal. I like a shape of despair. Oh, they are uh, good. Clouds, Noxaria. 
Mm. <laughs> I have to show from uh, the concert when uh, they came uh, to St. Petersburg in uh, 2015. Yeah, it was a, ma- a really amazing concert. From Russia, Union Value, Bloch, from Belarus, Malchat Dama. Do you also like uh, Nuremberg? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I, I hear them, hear them. Yeah, they, nice, they, have, nice. they have also a melancholic style like you. So uh, so soon you will have your debut album on 20th mm-hmm, of yeah. April. So I'm very yes. curious about this because I only know two songs. So how many songs are on the new album? Eight, eight songs. Mm-hmm. And the last song uh, will be uh, Trium Carable, but in acoustic version. Wow, this will be nice. Are you also planning to make music videos? Uh, yeah, I want to make uh, a clip, a clip on Trumo Carable, because it's a uh, most popular song. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know when. Uh, maybe, maybe this autumn. Maybe this autumn. So now, two, three songs we know. What it will be? And the other songs, are they more melancholic or are they more like punk? Uh, I think uh, there's a balance, a balance in this album. Mm-hmm. So 50% melancholic and 50% punk, <laughs> maybe uh, like this. Okay, that sounds good. How do you record your music? Do you record it oh, at home? I record it by myself. By myself, I have my own record studio uh, in my repetition place. And I, I have all stuff that I need uh, by this microphone, I recorded voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and behind the computer, <laughs> there is a sound card <laughs> uh, that I use to record my instruments and the voice. Uh, there is a computer in uh, my repetition place that I use to record uh, all. I, I don't think uh, that I need uh, a sound producer or maybe sound engineer because uh, I know some things that I, I can and uh, I find my own sound I think mm-hmm. find my own sound and uh, I think uh, I can do this uh, by myself and this, uh, the album will be self-released or, or do you release it with a label uh, it, it's, on, it's only me it's only my work okay that's, that's really nice that you make this all by yourself. That's the, the yeah, classic I... post-punk spirit. I like it. <laughs> yeah. About Ruski Doom, what does it mean to you, Ruski Doom? <sighs> Ruski Doom. I think this is... Uh, how can I say it in English? <laughs> uh, uh, it's something inside yourself, maybe. <laughs> it's, is, it, um... is it just sad? Or is it melancholy? Maybe it's uh, an infinity sadness, something deep. <laughs> Where does this sadness come from? Uh, I don't know. I don't know really. Maybe from, uh, maybe from uh, around the world. <laughs> but really, uh, Russian music, also Belarusian, Ukrainian music, is is the most sad right now. <laughs> Yeah, we have. Yeah, because uh, I think uh, in nineteen, uh, there were uh, very hard times, mm-hmm. and uh, Duma music is coming from these times. Mm-hmm. Do you think about playing live also? Yeah, uh, I think about it, but uh, first, I think uh, I need to present it my album. Mm-hmm. And after some time, uh, I need uh, another player in my band because yes. uh, I think I need a bassist. I need a bassist. I really uh, need uh, only <laughs> one man who can uh, help me uh, to play. Which instruments are you playing? Guitar. Uh, guitar. Uh, guitar. Uh, I'm a guitarist and I'm singing. Mm-hmm. And synthesizer? Synthesizer is playback. Play back on the notebook. With uh, the song Trumi Carable, you really you touched me deep inside. It's a very touching song. 
I think I listen to it Thanks. at least every second day. I listen to it. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> it's, it's my Many favorite thanks. Russian song. So, Alexey, uh, do you have anything that uh, you want to tell us, which we didn't discuss? Maybe I tell everything I want. To just remember about 20th April. It's coming soon after five days. Uh, listen to my new album. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoy it. You enjoy it. Thank you very much, Alexey. Thank you. I wish Thank you, you good luck with your first album. But I think you will have no problem. <laughs> well, thank you very much for this talk. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.